All right. Hello, friends. Happy, happy Thursday. Um, you guys, I'm trying something new today, and maybe it's going to work. Maybe it's not going to work. But Katie, this is for you. She keeps saying, can you make these podcasts so we can just listen? And I'm going to go ahead and attempt that. I'm not really exactly sure how, but now that I have a phone that works, that works compared to my old speaker. Let's see if we can make it happen. So I'm recording both, which you know what is weird. It feels actually weird to just be on voice because I'm so used to video from Facebook Live. So uh, welcome you guys to our Good Morning Sunshine. Christine, Debbie, Michelle, Heidi, hello everyone. Good morning, Helen. As you guys are jumping on on our Facebook Live portion, um, give me your Good Morning Sunshine so we get to interact on there as well as what you're grateful for today. And then we'll talk about crutches, all right? It's going to be so fantastic. Um, it is, well, first of all, my gratitude. You guys, I, this morning, I could not decide what to talk about because I had like 46 subjects I kept like going through because there were so many cool things to talk about. So I had to land on one. So I'm just going to give you my gratitude of the whole video I was going to do. Good morning, Brandy. Good morning, Nicole. Um, and that is, you know, I'm so grateful for my 7-Eleven friends, which sounds really weird, but God, they're all so freaking nice and kind and loving. And I love getting to see them when I stop after a uh, carpool kid drop in the morning. So I'm thankful for people in my life and whether they're super close or not, I'm thankful for their smiles. And I'm thankful for the one comment a woman gave me today. Um, she told me that I made her heart smile. And that's something I say frequently, but I don't hear a lot right so when somebody makes your heart feel like it's smiling just imagine what that feels like if you've never really thought about those words okay so that's my gratitude today today is Thursday in the process of our miracle morning we're always looking at our savers right so our silence our affirmations our visualization our exercise our reading and our scribing from Hal Elrod's miracle morning routine so that we can learn how to practice that better and then really think about and focus on one each week personally so that you guys can be experiencing your miracle morning today's exercise so um, if you're on Facebook live what did you do for your exercise recently and or what are you guys gonna do next like share that because um, remember the accountability of sharing it moves you forward so you always want to be interacting and sharing um, and maybe if you're not, you're using this Facebook as a crutch. And we'll get into that in a second. Good morning, Tammy, Danielle, Michelle, Alyssa. How are you guys? Um, okay. So like I said, I had so many subjects I wanted to talk about today. And I've loved all week. I don't know about you guys, but every time I get off, I'm like, ah, I could talk about that subject forever. Like I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, and today, looking at all the different things I went through, what I landed on is really looking at how in life, every single one of us finds a crutch at some point, okay? And stick with me for a couple minutes. Good morning, Stephanie, because I'm gonna talk about actual crutches, right? And then process that into how we do that with our lives, what happens with our lives. So, okay, so here's the deal, right? Um, you break your leg, that sucks, right? Like, look at, look at the injuries we've had, right? There, you, you break your leg and you cannot walk. You go to the doctors, you get fixed up, and they say you need to be off that leg for for a month, two months, whatever it is. And you're given the option. You can have a wheelchair. You can have one of the little rolly scooters. You can have crutches, whatever. So you pick your crutch, first of all. Okay, so you get to pick what your crutch is, right? Initially, the purpose of that crutch is to keep you safe. That's what it's for. It's to keep you safe until you heal and mend and you develop the strength to be able to go on with life without your crutch. Makes sense, right? So you have the broken leg. Let's just say you pick the wheelchair because you're like, you know what? I haven't done that before. Like, let's just give this a shot, right? And thank you. I'm looking at your guys' exercise and all your gratitudes that you're doing. Freaking awesome. Okay, so you pick the wheelchair. And um, at first, it's kind of like it's kind of a pain in the ass because you're not used to having that crutch around. It's a little uncomfortable or whatever. But then pretty soon, you start to notice all these benefits that come with it. Like you get a park at the front of every single store because you have that little sticker, right? It takes it's less time. And maybe even not. Maybe it's with a wheelchair scooter. I don't know. Like the, the, like the leg scooter. Okay. And then you notice everybody opens all the doors for you. And then you notice like when you go to Disney World, you get in the front of the line every single time. Like you got to go on every single ride because you have this, this crutch in your life. And all of a sudden, after a little bit of time, you're like, wow, my life is a little bit easier because I have this crutch in it. Right? It, 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 it's easier. And it was meant to make it easier while you healed, but was it meant to be there forever? Is your crutch temporary 
Or um, is it something that you utilize to gain strength, work through, and grow from? Right. And that's that's the obvious example of crutches. Okay. Let's take this to your actual life. Right. Um, and what I just I went through and just brainstormed some things. And this came from a certain instance in my life, actually. Um, and I won't explain the entire situation. But um, when we were talking about some people in our lives that use other people as crutches um, and not in judgment, you guys, we are following our four agreements, just an observation and in recognition of am I doing that anywhere in my life? OK, so the first where the first um, like uh, instance or I guess example that I was thinking of is relationships. How do you use a relationship as a crutch in your life? And when I say as a crutch in your life is you use them to make your life easier so that you don't have to go out and do X, Y, or Z. Okay. And um, first I want to, I want to actually, I want to back up and say, guys, this is not talking about like in like permanent injuries. Like there are instances where you have to have um, support in your life for permanent injuries, permanent situations. Obviously that's not what I'm talking about here. Right. I'm talking about temporary support in this, like when I, in my, um, my, my last example. Okay. So let's look at like relationships. Of course you want to be helped. Of course you want support. Of course you want love. But where have you used a relationship in your life before to, to have it as a crutch so that you didn't have to fill in the blank here, X, Y, or Z? Okay. The first example that I can think of is, um, okay, people that are super shy. And I think like not all of us are born with the ability to go out and talk to the world. A lot of us, like those initial communication skills are challenging. So it's your first day of school. Okay. It's your, well, whatever it's your, your, your young, your young child and you're super nervous because you're going to a new school. You don't know anybody and except, except for your best friend, right? Your best friend or your, your brother, your sister or whatever that is. So like there's that one person that gets to come along with you and they make it easier. You get to sit with them on the bus. You get to sit with them at lunch. Um, if you're, there's a passing period, you can, so they can be older, right? You get to walk with that person during that time. If you're in the same class, you're going to sit next to each other. You get to do your homework together and what happens is it's an easier experience which is awesome at first because it's really intimidating when you first start that situation right so it's so great to have that temporary support the crutch the actual crutch of the temporary support um, in those moments but with time a lot of us allow that crutch to become permanent um, I don't know if I say a lot of us I think many of us do and um, what happens is you don't have to build that next relationship. You don't have to find somebody else to sit next to at lunch. You don't have to um, find somebody else to do your homework assignments with because you have your go-to crutch person. And pretty soon, I've seen relationships, you guys. I've seen people who have been in positions in their lives where they don't know how to make outside friends. They're, they're so, and they, they might say, well, I'm happy just having this one person in my life, you guys. Um, and that's, that's awesome. That's perfect. If it's not coming from a space of fear of meeting others, but there's so many incredible individuals out there. I can't imagine missing up the opportunity to build relationships. I just can't because what am I missing out on? Because I don't know what that person could offer. So it could be relationships, right? Um, and there, there's more relationships here. Okay. So that was just like your, your best friend, right? If you're super shy, what about using your parents as a crutch? And you guys, there's not a lot of interaction in this one, right? But you guys can think about, do you know of any of these instances, right? Have you seen someone, and by the way, this isn't out of a space, once again, of judgment. This is just recognition to see what you do and how people could be helped through some of these things where they use their parents, like, okay, parenthood, right? We have babies and our job is to raise and support and actually be that little human's crutch for the first 18 years of its life, basically, we teach it everything growing through all of the stages of life. We are their, their support system. But at some time, I believe, you guys can tell me if you believe something different. I believe our job as a parent is to raise self-supported individuals who can move on into the world and contribute and live their lives and do the same for others, right? And I've seen it happen where people get hung up and they use their parents as a crutch. Um, maybe they're, they're in their late 20s and they're still living with their parents um, because it's, it's easier, it's safer, it's more comfortable, right? And here's the other thing, my parents live right next door. So you hear me say this in one note. It's, it's the space from which you come of why you're doing it. 
Okay. Um, utilizing, I'm not utilizing the Maya crutches as, as any means. I'm using, like, I, I, I guess it's more like about our support system and our love that we have. And I love the situation, right? What I'm talking about is things that make it so that you don't have to X, Y, and Z. What it's making your life easier and it's inhibiting your growth. It's actually stopping you from becoming the person you could. If finances are an issue in your life because you haven't decided what you want to be when you grow up and you're 30 years old and your parents are those enablers or the, like they, they love you. They, they want you there, right? But you're not, not letting yourself grow into the person you could become, then they're your crutch. Okay, so that's another example. Man, I could go on for every example here, but um, it's really thinking about where do you see um, a crutch in your life, right, that's not going away. What about money lenders as a crutch, which very well could be your parents. Somebody's always going to bail you out. You know they're always going to bail you out, which means you don't actually have to try that hard. You get to be a little lazy. Do you see how the end result of this is always that you get to be a little lazy? And P.S., oh, I'm going to share a video. I did what I think yesterday, a year ago. I wonder if I can find it now about the lack of lazy. Anyways, I'll share that. So um, this, there's moments in your life in the beginning where you have to have it. It's just like the broken leg. There's a situation. Life happened. It was horrible. It was this moment, and you need the support. You need the love. Some one lends you money. Perfect. Unless it becomes a every single month, every single year. So you're always having to be bailed out. Are you actually learning lessons and growing or are you starting to accept that as a crutch of your life where you don't actually have to grow? Okay. So that's people or relationships. What about technology? I have a couple more. Okay. Cause I want you to try to identify where this might affect your life. What about technology? Um, and we've talked about this a lot, but technology is a huge crutch that we hide behind right now. Um, and by that, I think the biggest thing that it's protecting us from is having to build relationships and again, learn how to communicate because we can do almost everything you that you don't even have to leave your house anymore. You can grocery shop from home. You can do your Christmas shopping from home. You can, um, like you can support, you can work from home. You can support your entire life from home. And then I'm like, well, what are you supporting? Cause you're not having to go out there and build a single relationship. Right. If I didn't just go to 7-Eleven to get gas this morning, I wouldn't get to see those freaking awesome faces that work there and just build a small relationship, have that interactivity. And we can lose our um, need for getting out of our comfort zone and meeting other people and having communication skills by always being behind a phone, maybe always texting, like avoiding every voice conversation we can, avoid face to face, avoid actual interaction. And we get to hide. And it's easier, right? Um, what about food and substances? I'm almost done here, okay? Food and substances is a crutch. Um, and this is actually kind of where this whole idea started. And then I got into the, the, the friendship thing up above. But um, like, I was thinking about caffeine and how some people, for them, caffeine is a crutch. It's something they have to have. They've had it for so long, they feel like they cannot live without it. And they have to have it to support a certain level of energy, and it becomes a crutch. Right. There was a time where they felt like they kind of needed it or they had it or whatever. I don't know how it started. Right. But now it has to be in their life. Not to say that that's bad. Like caffeine, there's a certain level of caffeine. You guys, it's really good for your body. Actually, there's also abuse of it, just like there is with any food and substance. Right. Um, and then there's just plain food. Maybe you have a crutch with a food for emotional support. That's what that crutch is. And you feel, and here's the, here's the craziest part about crutches, you guys. We excuse, remember how yesterday we were talking about taking responsibility? We excuse and we, like, we make excuses of why this is okay. This is okay because I have a broken leg. This is okay because they're my best friend. And, and I actually, like, it's fine. I don't want the other relationships. This is okay because this is how I get my work done. It's on my phone. Like, that's how I do it. Like, that's why this is okay that I don't build relationships. This is okay that I always go to, turn to food, cake, sugars, whatever it is when I'm in an emotional state because that's how my body copes and my body's my body. So I get to do that. Right. But take a step back. Like, are you actually using that as a crutch? Are you, are you support, like you're, you're crutching your mind with the, the false need for some of these items. And then it could go into like even more, of course, like there's, there's drugs or alcohol abuse that would be a crutch for your life that let you be in a certain state. Right. And then you have the crutch of the people around you who will enable you to do those things. There's so much that it comes down to. Um, and I even had a, a few more here, like um, your past experiences, that could be a crutch. You're so stuck in the past that you're allowing that to be the excuse or the reason that you will not move forward. And we talk about that a lot. You've been betrayed in the past. Something happened where you had a relationship that was, it was knocked hard. And now since you've been hurt, you get to be the victim forever. That's your crutch. I, my crutch is I get to be the victim. 
because I was hurt and I was, it happened to you. You had an illness, a certain illness, it happened to you. And, and you get to be, um, you, you do, you get to be whatever that is. I, I, I don't want to have to do X, Y, and Z now because this is a situation that occurred in my life. And then I'm going to use that as an, an excuse and a crutch. And it's the gimme card. We talked about that a few months ago. It's the gimme card where nobody's going to say anything for most of these crutches, you guys. It's, it's only you that can really take a look in the mirror and say, wow, I didn't realize I have been using that as an excuse not to grow. And this is what the whole thing comes down to. So we're about to wrap up. So if you're on Facebook Live, you're going to do your, like, your hearts, your high fives, love on each other, right? Um, and I'll see if I can actually get a podcast <laughs> loaded. I don't even know how, you guys, but I'm going to try. And um, welcome everybody else that joined while I was just gabbing away. So here's the whole point of this. And it's the commitment in our lives, because we always make a commitment, right? That's what we've been doing by the end of our videos here, of a, a commitment in our lives of looking at where do you feel like you're enabling yourself and you're using some sort of crutch. You might have needed it at one point, but you don't need it anymore and you just aren't letting go. You're just not letting go of it, right? Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a person, whether it's, um, whether it's a substance, whether it's technology, how are you hiding from your, remember we always talk about like going from your, your life now to the utmost life, keep doing those hearts because I love you guys, to the utmost like beautiful, most successful life that you're running after, how are you, are you being blocked by your current crutches because for us to get there you guys we got to drop the crutch eventually have it for a little while and then you got to drop it okay if you, if you really want to grow in your life so that's that's today's miracle morning thank you guys so much for joining us comment if you're on here on facebook um are you guys committed to reviewing the crutches in your life and maybe maybe seeing if you can you know maybe grab one crutch instead of two Maybe try to balance on one leg for a little while. See what it's like because, you guys, you can do it. You can do it without the crutch. I'm sure of it. So love all your beautiful faces, and we shall chat with you tomorrow. Wish me well on this whole podcast thing. Thank you, guys. Callie Carroll, Fit Coach, because they don't know that because they can't see me, uh, signing out here. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.